Hi, I'm Tiffy. It's been so cold lately and I'm craving something warm and hearty. So let's make some golden chicken stock today. Golden chicken stock is super popular in Taiwan. Rumor has it a cup of stock is like 10 sheet masks because it's packed with so much collagen. I know making stock from scratch may seem intimidating, but don't worry, all you need is patience. And that's it. The most important step in any bone broth is to prepare the meat. I'm using 8 chicken backbones today and 3 cups of chicken feet. I know what you're thinking, ooh, chicken feet? Well, don't judge it until you try it. Chicken feet are crucial ingredients when making some of the most gelatinous collagen broth. There's so many health benefits such as relieving joint pains, treating leaking gut, and increasing the elasticity of your skin. It's low in calories, and it's also really affordable. If you can't find chicken feet, you can also use chicken wings, but it'll be much more expensive and higher in fat. I also added in ginger, green onion, and Chinese cooking wine to help purify the broth. This step is crucial because it'll get rid of all the impurities. Don't worry, you won't lose any flavor. This will help ensure your broth stays clear and pure. Now that the meat is all prepared, add everything back into the pot and add in ginger and whole white peppercorn. White peppercorn is milder compared to black peppercorn. It has more of an earthy flavor, which pairs really well with chicken. It will give the broth an amazing umami flavor. There are four tips that I always follow when making any stock. Number one, always add cold filter water. I know some people think adding hot water will speed up the process, but this can really affect the consistency of the stock. Number two, be patient. You want to simmer and render out the collagen slowly, so always cook on medium-low heat. Number three, no salt is needed. Season to taste when you're actually using the broth. And finally, keep an eye out. There's no need to stir the broth continuously, but keep an eye out and add water to ensure that the bones are always covered in water. While we wait, let's make something yummy to drink. A cup of refreshing citrus black tea. Add red sugar and tea leaf into a pot and pan fry until you can smell the aroma. Then add in water. Let it simmer for around 10 minutes and then add in the fruit to simmer for another 10 minutes. And that's it! Cheers. This is so refreshing. It's honestly so good. Before we move on to the next step of the broth, this is the consistency you're looking for within three hours of cooking. The broth is now really milky and super rich. Here is my secret tip for the golden color and rich creamy broth, pumpkin. I'm using Japanese pumpkin, also known as kabocha. Pumpkin is highly nutritious and it's packed with vitamins, which can help with your immunity. They're loaded with antioxidants, vitamin C, and other nutrients that are great for your skin. Steam the pumpkin for 20 minutes or until it's soft. Add around 2 ladles of the soup and blend until it's smooth. This will really help thicken up the broth and also add sweetness to it. After 4 hours, the soup is now super rich. Pour in the pumpkin and let it simmer for another 30 minutes. 
Let it rest overnight and skim off the fat and strain. And that's it. Look at that. The most beautiful batch of golden chicken broth. chicken bowl broth you're ever gonna try. It's so good. I know it takes time, but really you're just letting it simmer most of the time and it is so, 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 so worth it. So what I like to do is I like to make this in bulk once a month. I'll then freeze it in my freezer in ice cubes so that way I can use it whenever I want throughout the month. While we're here, I thought I'd share two of my favorite ways to enjoy my golden chicken broth. The first one is making soup. By having broth ready to go, you're able to have a rich bowl of herbal soup ready in 20 minutes. I make this at least once a week. You can throw in any vegetables of your choice and let it simmer. Ready in 20 minutes. This will warm you right up. The second is probably my favorite way to enjoy a delicious bone broth for the richest, creamiest congee you will ever have. Just use any vegetables you have in the fridge, and I promise this will warm you right up. At the same time, I'm adding in cooked rice. I have this for breakfast at least two times a week. It's healthy, it's delicious, and it's filling. the best bowl of kanji I've ever had. It's so good. It hits the spot every time. Chef's kiss. Let me know if you give this recipe a try and I hope to see you next week for episode 2 of Before 30. Mm -hmm.